everybody, Sprocket here. Sorry it's been so long since I put a video up. Uh, kind of been in transition as far as um, having issues with my phone so it wouldn't upload videos. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I am downloading, because I got a, got a desktop. I wasn't really wanting to get one, but I got one anyway. Um, it's going to be hard to do this because I'm already recording, but I wanted to flip it around so you could see. Yeah, there you go. See? Desktop. But, uh, anyhow. Uh, whew, that was bright. Uh, downloading a video editor. Wow. I look pale. Sorry. Um, so we're going to give this a shot. Trying to upload from my desktop see if that works out any better um so just bear with me uh i have been recording videos some of them are have were recorded a while ago um the one video which is going to be the first one i try to update or uh, upload is going to be the one that uh, i've previously attempted i think three times to try and get it to upload but it would just freeze up and wouldn't do anything so um that hearing me talk anymore we're going to give it a shot here it goes hey everybody sprocket here i just um wanted to show you what i was doing here got a new receiver dryer right there shiny um i'm getting my uh ac vacuum tested and recharged tomorrow so a uh, buddy of mine brought up that it was a good idea to replace this and the orifice tube which is down inside of that line right there uh, one to check and see if they're all plugged up with junk especially if they're plugged with metal shavings because that means compressors bad but it's always a good idea considering this system is um, let's see let me think well it's over 30 years old so we'll just leave it at that so it's probably a good idea to replace these because these act as filters for the stuff that flows through everything. So um, another thing that can happen is there's a desiccant bag inside of this receiver dryer that can fly apart and then it can destroy the compressor. So um, these were relatively inexpensive. I got them through work so I didn't pay much for them. And hey, the train's here. Great. But... Um, yeah, you always want to make sure replace these seals. There's one here, there's one on this hose. Um, I think that's it on this one, except for this seal here, which is for the pressure switch, which I've already put on the new one, which is right there. Uh, I also put my adapter on here. This is for the uh, R134, because this is an original R12 truck. As you can see, close enough maybe you can see it right there that's the original AC sticker it's old enough it still used the R12 when it was new so I'll show you when I'm done okay so um, it's a darn good thing I decided to listen to my buddy and uh, get a new one of these you see all the junk that's clucked up on this thing look at this Ugh. <laughs> Now I don't see any metal in that, so that I think is a good thing. But um, yeah, like I said, it's a good thing I decided to listen to him. <sighs> Anyhow, show you more in a bit. All right, so I decided to um, blow some air through this thing because I noticed how nasty it was down there coming out. Here's where that um, orifice tube goes, which it could, like I said, it's just a filter. You can see. That lovely green stuff, what that is, is the oil with a dye in it to check for leaks. Now, I don't know when that was done because I didn't do it, but uh, check this out. Ain't that yummy looking? So basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure that... Um, stuff will flow through this plus I'm trying to make sure I get rid of all of that stuff and any debris that might be in there 
guess I should wipe that up, huh? I'm sure some environmentalists wouldn't be too appreciative of that stuff going onto the ground. <laughs> and you can hear the compressor in the background. Alright, looks like I got most of it. So I think I'm ready to put the new stuff back in. Alright, so, got the new one in there. Sorry about how bright that is, it is starting to get dark out. Um, what I did was I disconnected all these lines, even all of those, and from here, clean this up a little bit. You can see it's nice and shiny aluminum now. And disconnected this top one. Shot some uh, brake parts cleaner through here and then forced it through with some compressed air. Da -da 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 -da. On all of this stuff, make sure all my lines were clear. Got a whole bunch more of that uh, dyed um, pag oil. But you can see it kind of splattered all over the place. You know, it's a green color. That dye is to check for leaks and that was in the system on this truck before I did a body swap from my 89. So apparently there was a leak before, or they thought there was, and they were trying to find it. But I bet most of their problem had to do with that grit that was in that uh, orifice tube. It was all plugged up. Now fortunately for me, this compressor is not the one that was in the truck when all that crap was going on. This is the one that came out of my 89. So that being the case, Hopefully, none of that went through that thing. We'll find out tomorrow if it blows cold. Well, anyhow, that's it for tonight. Have a good one. Oh, P.S. I forgot. It does blow cold now. Front and rear.